Good. Welcome to SVG TV News and Sports for Thursday, July 3rd, 2014. I am Jennifer Richardson with the details. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment is reminding Vincentians that the current rainy season presents the perfect environment for the breeding of mosquitoes which can spread diseases such as chikungunya and dengue. In a media release issued earlier, the ministry calls on the public to ensure that they do not create breeding spaces for mosquitoes around their homes and workplaces. The release also stated that homeowners should ensure that their surroundings are clear of containers or tires that can accumulate water and encourage the breeding of mosquitoes. The ministry said it has confirmed 485 cases of chikungunya in St. Vincent and the Grenadines as of June 30, 2014, with the majority of these cases being recorded on the Grenadine island of Bekwe. Chikungunya is spread through the bite of the Aedes aegypti mosquito. Symptoms include fever, headache, muscle pain, joint pain, swelling, and rash. The ministry advises that chikungunya does not result in a ban on travel and that persons can continue to travel freely, but they must continue to remain vigilant and take measures to protect themselves and their families from the disease. Persons with symptoms or those who think that they may have chikungunya are being reminded to immediately check with their local healthcare provider. Prime Minister Dr. Rav Gonsav says he is awaiting the outcome of the investigation and the appropriate action that will be taken against former registrar Tamara Gibson Marks. Dr. Gonsalves' comments comes following repeated calls by members of the public and opposition for the Prime Minister to be open on the matter. There have been cases before where persons have been accused of, of um, a number of different things and the, the, the investigation will go on for some time. This is not the this is not the, the, the first time that you have had an investigation. This is, not a, this is a matter which involves a lot and the unwritten of a number of facts. The former registrar submitted her resignation on May 21st on the advice of the Attorney General. It has been reported that she left the country immediately thereafter. A compilation of literary work was today donated to the National Library's Archives and Documentation Center by local playwright and drama development officer Martin Kwashi. Kwashi says the literary work showcases the talent of Vincentians and used the opportunity to encourage more persons to get involved in writing. I must apologize but for not having them in the professional form, but you know, uh, I don't have the money to, to do that. I'm a poor guy. So if somebody would sponsor that and get them to get the real um, book form and so then we can have them re-edited and so that you, the mistakes or whatever would come out and then we put them back into that, that kind of way. And I have to thank the Vincentian community for upholding me and encouraging me in continuing to write and you know do the work that I do, which is to encourage people to start writing, which I am doing here this morning. Director of Libraries Michelle King Campbell expressed gratitude to the Department of Culture and Kwashi for the donation. The donation will be included in the National Public Library Archives and Documentation Services Vincentian Collection. Thank you. Copies will be placed in the Rare Book Collection of the National Archives. Copies will also be distributed to all branch libraries across the island. A concert was held last evening in Kingstown to commemorate two events deemed very important to the Venezuelan society. The concert, which was held at the Methodist Church Hall, marked the 203rd anniversary of the independence of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela and the 9th anniversary of Petro Caribe. Charge of Affairs of the Embassy of Venezuela, Elias Villalba, in his address, says on June 29th, they celebrated nine years of the inception of Petro Caribe and this coming Saturday, July 5th, the 203rd independence of Venezuela will be commemorated. Today we celebrate in unity with our brothers and sisters of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the 9th anniversary of Petro Caribe, as well as the 203rd anniversary of our independence, with a group of excellent musicians coming from the heartland of Venezuela. 
from the emblematic state of Barinas, combining excellent sounds from various string instruments together with our traditional maracas, we are proud to present, just in a few moments, Trapiche Ensemble. We have to thank the local um, um, joint venture between PDVSA and the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines for aiding in the transportation of this group that has come to our, to our um, sister nation, St. Vincent. Here is an excerpt from the Venezuelan Chapiche Ex Ensemble band performance at last night's concert. <laughs> Welcome to Carnival Beat. Vehicle owners have been advised to be extra careful this carnival as they venture out to the various shows. This advice comes from Assistant Commissioner of Police and Head of the Crime Unit, Frankie Joseph. According to ACP Joseph, people often forget about safety during this festive, se festive season, giving way to burglars. We are also advising that those persons will be patronizing the shows in and around Kingston, Victoria Park, for instance. That when you bring your vehicle in Kingston, you, as, as best as possible, avoid parking it in dark alleys. Okay? Look for areas that, that, that are, are, are well lit to park your vehicles. And more so, when you, when you are leaving your vehicle, ensure that you secure your vehicle. Ensure that you, you put all your windows up. Ensure that you lock your doors. And please do not forget to take your key from out of your door. Carnival City Victoria Park will come alive this evening when Pan meets Mass in the staging of Steel and Glitter 2014. Reigning senior Panorama champ Sian Hill Euphonium is hoping to secure the title for the sixth consecutive year. The other senior steel orchestras battling for the title are Potential Steel Orchestra, Georgetown All Stars, C Operation Starlift Steel Orchestra, Symphonic Steel Orchestra, SVG Port Authority Genesis Steel Orchestra, Scotiabank Southeast Steel Orchestra, and Elite Steel Orchestra. Following the panorama competition, there would be the parade of 11 night sections from the various mass bands. The night will also feature guest performances by the Fetologist Whiskey and the Clash of the Divas featuring Tamisha Nichols, Chanel McKenzie and Lonette Fire Empress Ned. For 16 years, RJR has been a force to be reckoned with and this year the Juve Band's 17th presentation is expected to be no different. Ricardo Adams, one of the founders of the Juve Band, said they are always seeking to bring something different each year. And this year's presentation, Viva Brazil, offers just that. Every year we try to bring something innovative, something new, something cool, something topical. This year, obviously with the whole World Cup and buzz around the World Cup, we are doing Viva Brazil, which is Arja bringing Brazil energy into the Juve this year. So that is our basic um, concept this year, and that's where we're going. And uh, basically, so for the upgrade t-shirt package, you have the option of the t-shirt that I'm wearing here. You have, the up, you have the option of three different Brazil colors in a nice female cut. And uh, obviously, I'll put it on for you to see. <laughs> for those of you who've been watching football, you would have seen the football wigs. So everybody gets a football wig. Of course, you get your paint, your green and yellow paint. You get your water bottle from Digicel. And uh, you get your pouch from Digicel. Another member of the band, Jerry Howard, said what makes RJ stands out among the other Juve paint bands is the quality of its presentation. Yeah is known to have like a seamless entry basically into the into the venue and as i said when you when you present your ticket the four dollar tickets you get a usual paint 
and they drink chits to, to the bar. But as Ricky said, the, the new addition this year is the seventy-five dollar T-shirt package and the exclusive zone. And uh, patrons can really expect the usual, as I said, the seamless entry, the security, you know, the whole idea of being in RJR basically, the excitement, the fun, too cool. And we more than likely will be having some artists, but but maybe like more than likely we name and let's say about next day or two. So. See